What's up, guys? That really gross guy here. We're back, and of course, we've been blessed with another deluxe skin uh, in game. And I'm sure you guys already know that Atlas Deluxe is now out. So, we're going to take a look at the Atlas Deluxe. I'm pretty excited about it, but quickly, I just wanted to toss up on the screen here, real quick, for you. We also have four new augment mods. Um, one of which is for Nidus, I am pretty excited about, which, uh, you know, gives him extra critical, uh, when it comes to his, uh, one of his abilities is pretty cool. And then also Korra has her, uh, extra loot chance augment for her. There's a Garuda augment in there as well. And a Revenant augment with a little bit of a blindy deal with Revenant, which is pretty neat. But yeah, if you are, uh, excited about those mods or... Maybe you're going to throw them on your uh, your builds. Uh, there you have it. Hopefully, uh, I hope you, you enjoy those. We're going to go in the market real quick and take a look at the Atlas Karst collection, which you can see here in its default colors. It's all its glory. Looking pretty cool. I'm a little torn on it. It's mostly because I'm not really an Atlas player, and it's definitely really bulky. It's definitely abstract for a, for a Warframe. Um, cause it's, I mean, Warframes are kind of like these cybernetic whatever, and they kind of have certain appeal to what their body shape and all that stuff looks like. This really throws all that out the window and turns Atlas into a, a rock monster Warframe. It's pretty neat. But anyways, so you have the Atlas Karst skin, the Tecton Sparring skin, which we'll take a look at, and the Stratum Cyandana, which we will also take a look at, which is pretty neat. But... Uh, 225 for the bundle. If you want just the skin, you can get that for 150 platinum. And uh, let's head off and check all this out. So, I always ran. I mean, I barely ever use Atlas, but I always ran them in this Dark Souls kind of aesthetic, you know, darker coloration. Um, a little bit edgy, but I didn't. I, I wanted to keep it more of like, like a really deep reddish purple and like dark brick red kind of look i always thought it kind of looked neat anyways jumping into his deluxe skin you can see like i said default colors all in its glory you can see definitely uh in his body is like hollowed out um his arms are, are kind of floaty deal kind of like the magnumera that they they dealt with his legs you can see you know, you know in the sides these crevasses and then down on his lower lower legs, down in his quads, you can see those uh, those holes, and it's pretty cool. I like that. Um, definitely creates this unique. Oh yeah, and then the cracks in his legs um, creates this unique uh, rock texture. You know, crystalline. I don't know, whatever geometry, geometry things and stuff. So pretty neat. I spent a little bit of time trying to color this thing up and there wasn't too much I was excited about because this rock texture is, for me at least, a little bit hard to figure out exactly what I want to do with it. Um, I think because I like to do kind of like Orokin kind of colors, whites and, you know, like obviously like white and gold, but I'd like whites and blues, even some white and red sometimes. Um, you know, I I found it a little bit difficult. I ended up having one of these like ice-like crystalline uh, glacier kind of atlas colorations, which I think look looks pretty cool. And then um, just in terms of like randomization, uh, like I said, I found it a little bit difficult. But I took the the original Dark Souls skin that you see here. I threw on the Karst skin, and this is a bit of an example where I wasn't too sold on the rock texture, but man, I actually, I actually kind of really enjoyed, I don't know, this, this kind of theme it, it has going on to some degree. looks very cool. I even like keeping his default helmet on a little bit because it seems like it sits down in there a little bit. It's, I don't know. It's really cool. I like this a lot, but the only thing, like I said, was this rock texture. So I was going around trying to see colors that I could kind of swap it out with. And there's a number of colors that just don't, I don't know, don't sit well on that rock texture. But you get down in here and like some of the, the you know, black, dark grays and stuff like that. 
and man does it it comes across pretty cool like i said this dark dark gray or you know really dark gray getting a little bit more of a black texture you can see that it's definitely a, like a roughed up rock texture which is pretty neat but yeah even the lighter stuff eh, maybe not so much unless you kind of did like a sandy theme um and you did like sandy colors but i don't know pretty neat but um I, i'm I'm not too sure i'm not too sure i ended up then like i said check checking out the uh default helmet it looks okay on this um I, I definitely do like the helmet in general but there's something about leaving that helmet on this the way it is i actually really really like but i probably will keep be keeping this actually um default i don't know I'll, maybe i'll build another atlas to try and try some of this stuff out but um, it, when I wanted to go through and do like the randomization stuff with you, um, uh, let me actually first, before we do that, there's the, uh, punchy bits, the punchy, uh, fisty weapons. So I threw on the Obex. There's certain fist weapons that this specifically works, uh, works with. For instance, the Ankaros, uh, Ankaros weapons and, uh, one of the other fist weapons. This doesn't work with, so you can't put these fisty thingies on those. But there's the the the, the new uh, new skin. What's it called? The Tecton sparring skin. So pretty neat. I don't know if you guys are into fist weapons. Maybe it's for you. Uh, it's definitely a unique look, which may not fit on a lot of frames. So I don't know. I'm curious to see what you guys think about the deluxe skins uh, in their pack. Like all of them, all of them together, um, and maybe individually where you would maybe put some of these these skins on frames that uh you know i don't know uh anyways jumping into the cyan donna it was way down here somewhere the str stratum cyan donna which bam you can see there i like these floaty bits these little geometric cool prism thingies uh looking pretty neat um this rock uh, i mean while it seems to fit this atlas i could do without it because i'm I'm interested in this piece right here, putting that actually on other frames, which, I don't know, I, I like the way it looks. I like the metallic. I like this ventilated uh, part of the Cyandana, which is, you know, matches its its helmet. Very cool ventilation kind of design. Um, but, you know, the cloth, the, the drapey cloth kind of look, I, I'm, I like. I really like that stuff. I like the drapey cloth-like Cyandanas quite a bit. And uh, the metallic you know it adds to it and it like like i said it matches but for the sake of other warframes i would like if i could remove this rock piece but anyways it looks neat it's interesting um of course like always i go through and try to flip through some random color schemes for you guys so you guys could get a good idea of maybe some some ideas um see like you'll see in that rock texture some stuff you know some colors that really just don't work with it does that make any sense um but we'll flip through quite a few times even through the randomizer i mean that, that looks all right actually um i don't know i don't know I, i'm i'm pretty easy to please so <laughs> um some craziness in there but if there's anything you do see feel free to stop the video and uh, maybe try and copy down the colors as best as you can to kind of and then maybe tweak it to your your personal preference but we'll flip through here quite a few times and uh there's a little bit of a edgy edginess if you wanted it um but yeah i don't know i don't know if you guys do try out this skin or uh you know you've already tried out this skin maybe in the comments you wanted to let me know how you found you know how how easily you found it to color it uh, maybe your color scheme because that kind of says a lot oh i like that actually right there um that kind of says a lot when it comes to your 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 design uh if you have something that you really really like and you it translates over really really nice that would be nice but uh, i'm actually going to get a quick snapshot of that because i actually am going to probably try and recolor or come back and and make that again but anyways i'll flip through a few more times for you guys um I tend to find, especially with certain textures, 
you have kind of like a go-to theme that you do with a lot of your frames. Some of you guys may, some of you guys may not. Um, for instance, like I said, my, my whites and blues, whites and reds and stuff like that, that I end up putting on a, a number of my different frames. I put it on a frame like this and then it just doesn't look good or I have to really switch some things around to make it look good. But I mean, that looks kind of cool. I really like, I really like the, uh, what do you, what would you call it? Uh, there's certain like gemstones that I think if you colored the either these crystalline parts or these rocks special colors like this purple like this you know amethyst is that a right the right color I don't know anyways I don't know my gemstones um, but you color them towards towards specific gemstones and it would probably look pretty badass but anyways I might even save this one up a little bit I don't know I don't know I'm just trying to trying to inspire myself a little bit towards this. Um, that even looks kind of neat. Goodness, I don't know. I'm easy to please. Easy to please. But we'll flip through a few more times. Boop, boop, boop. And yeah, see, man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. See, blues just it looks good to me. Looks good to me. But there's so many that just don't. So many that just don't. Oh, I mean, there's that uh, Sith. You know, uh, Star Wars Rebels or not Rebels, uh, whatever, whatever. I can't think today, guys. I've been I've been up far too long. Um, but flip through a few more times. Let me know what you guys think of the skin down below. And uh, I'm gonna do a video. I probably should have mentioned this far earlier in the video. Um, I'm gonna do a video about all of the deluxe skins that are in the works because there are a lot of deluxe skins. In the works right now I went back and checked it out after yesterday's video where I talked about the Garuda deluxe skin and I went back and saw the Zephyr deluxe skin is still in the works the um, oh that looks kind of neat the Wukong was announced the Nyx is on its way um, what else oh there's Wukong Zephyr oh Equinox deluxe skin is in the works Man, there's there's a lot. There's like five. There's like five or six deluxe skins right now. Um, anyways, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Click, click, click. Hope you found something you enjoyed. If you're gonna get this Atlas deluxe skin, hopefully I gave you some inspiration. Maybe you found something you like. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's your color right there. You know what? Rock it. If that's what you like, then uh, represent. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Blah!